Okay, welcome to an overview of uh, Riverbed's Steelhead Mobile Controller. Um, the Steelhead Mobile Client is the ability to put the Riverbed appliance on your laptop. It's a software, it's been ported from the Riverbed appliance into the uh, Windows Arena. So what we have here is we have a Steelhead Mobile Client, you should see that up on the screen now. We have a, Windows, uh, a Vodafone 3G card, with a connection, a VPN connection back to our office, and you can see it pinging 192.168.1.1, which is our Windows server. I then have uh, an optimized, I then have an optimized uh, Windows file share that you can see, and I'm going to show you uh, some files copying backwards and forwards, um, and also how we can open stuff and change stuff. Once I've shown you the benefits of Riverbed, what I'll actually do is just say, look how quick it is with Riverbed. Uh, but look how slow it is without it, and we'll disable it and see how it goes from there. So let's um, let's just copy some files and see what we get here. So let's start with a picture of uh, the Rockefeller Center. It's a uh, 1.8 meg in size, and I'm just going to copy that from the remote server uh, down to our my laptop here. As you can see, we just copied 1.8 meg in a matter of seconds across a 3G connection with 160 odd milliseconds of latency. Let's just delete that. So what if I wanted to work on the server? Could I open that file just as quick rather than, rather than copying it? So I'm going to right click on the file on the server, open with Windows Picture and Facts Viewer, and there you go, there's the picture open. I sometimes pick JPEGs just for the fact they're already pre-compressed. But what about something like a PowerPoint presentation? So let's take here the test presentation, 4.7 meg, again over a 3G connection. Let's drop it down into the, into the system here. We'll see it's just doing a bit of a read ahead, and here it goes, and it's connect come across. So Riverbed was just doing a bit of a read ahead, and then actually kicks in and starts working. So if I open this file, I just load it up on my laptop, as you can see in, in front of me here. I'm going to add in a few more slides. Let's just uh, copy this one and just do a, add a few more in. Copy that and then uh, let's paste it in there and paste it in there. And let's also add in uh, some clip arts as well, so a couple of cars. And this one here. I'm just going to save that. So that's saving it back down to my C drive. Once that's saved, I want to put it back up on the server, but I don't want to overwrite the other one. So this has now gone from 4.7 meg down up to 5.1. So right click on here, that's going to rename it. Test 2. And then I'm going to drag that and put it back up on the Windows server, on the main server. Any new data is actually compressed and sent across. Any existing data, only the references traverse the wide area network, which helps keep on the bandwidth. As you can see, very, very quick, you can open up a file so you can change the renamed files because we're working binary patterns we don't cache the files with just a TCP proxy. If we look at the Riverbed client what you're actually seeing here now on my session is you're seeing the uh, we requested 14.6 meg to traverse the wide area network but actually what we only sent was 586k. That's a huge saving if you're using something like a window uh, 3G card especially if you're travelling we're seeing a 96% reduction. And overall, since I've been using the Steelhead Mobile in this, uh, I've, been, I've, sent, I've requested 426 meg, but actually only sent 157.7 meg, seeing a capacity increase of 2.7 times. In fact, I find it very difficult to work remotely without the Steelhead Mobile. But what if I didn't have the Steelhead Mobile and I wanted to use 3G? Why don't we disable, the, why don't we disable it? Still keep up the VPN session, and as you can see here, we're just disabling, 
and now it's this just waiting for it to disable there we go it's now disabled so we still have the connection to the drive and I'm going to do some of those I'm going to do one of those same copies again so I'm not going to do the huge 4 meg file I'm just going to use the 1.8 meg file I'm going to copy that picture down again so if we take the picture drag and drop it So it's now starting to copy. As you can see, first of all, the ping times have risen because we're not reducing the bandwidth as much as we were. And it's taking a long time to traverse the network. Where it was taking three or four seconds to come across, it's now taking, well, 45 according to Microsoft, but we'll, we'll wait and see. So on that note, really, as you can see, Riverbed still have mobile controller really does and still have mobile client really does provide an improvement to performance across when you're traveling from a hotel 3g or even if you're from a remote office and you've only got one or two people and while i've been talking that file still hasn't copied down so thank you very much for watching the uh, webcast if you'd like some further information on the steelhead client please feel free to visit our website at www.tenio.net or call into the office and an account manager will be very happy to talk to you about an evaluation or trial of the solution. Thank you.